press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, in the last class we discussed the suction formula for internal division P of x comma y comma z is given by m x2 plus n x1 divided by what m plus n m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n similar z coordinate m z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n correct now this is section formula for section formula for what internal division similarly we also discuss external division section formula for external division is given by m x2 minus n x1 divided by m minus n so m y2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n and m z2 minus n z1 divided by m minus n section formula for what external division one more formula we discuss midpoint formula in space m of x comma y comma z is given by x1 plus x2 divided by 2 correct now y1 plus y2 divided by 2 z1 plus z2 divided by 2 these three formulas we discuss in last class we solve the problems regarding these formulas the first problem First problem, find the, find the coordinates, find the coordinates of the point, of the point which divides. which divides the line segment which divides the line segment joining which divides the line segment joining the points joining the points minus 2 3 5 and 1 minus 4 6 1 minus 4 6 in the ratio in the ratio first one 2 is to 3 2 is to 3 internally second one 2 is to 3 the same ratio as given externally 2 is to 3 internally and 2 is to 3 externally. Find the coordinates of the point which divides line joining these two points. Line joining these two points minus 2, 3, 5 and 1 minus 4, 6. Firstly, internally in the ratio 2 is to 3 and externally in the ratio 2 is to 3. What we do? Take take a point a of minus 2 3 5 is equal to x1 y1 z1 b of 1 minus 4 6 is equal to x2 y2 z2 m is to n he has given m is to n is what 2 is to 3 that implies m is equal to 2 n is equal to 3. m is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 first problem for internal division we know the formula p of internally p of x comma y comma z m x2 correct now plus n x1 divided by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n similarly z coordinate 
m z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n okay substitute all these values so that is equal to that is equal to i written here that is equal to m m is what 2 2 into 2 into x2 x2 is what 1 2 into 1 plus 3 3 into x1 minus 2 divided by m plus n 2 plus 3 is how much 5 x coordinate is over y coordinate y coordinate 2 into 2 into 2 into y2 y2 is what minus 4 2 into minus 4 plus 3 into y1 3 divided by 2 plus 3 is what 5 y coordinate is also over i run below z coordinate mz2 2 into z2 is what that is 2 into z2 z2 is what 6 2 into 6 plus 3 into z1 z1 is what 5 divided by 2 plus 3 is 5 2 plus 3 is 5 so solved it that is equal to that is equal to okay 2 into 1 is how much 2 minus 3 into 2 minus 6 divided by 5 x coordinate y coordinate minus 8 plus 9 divided by 5 comma 12 plus 15 divided by 5 12 plus 15 divided by 5 so <coughs> 2 minus 6 is how much minus 4 by 5 1 by 5 12 plus 15 20 how much 27 divided by 5 this is what the p point for which division internal division the coordinate of point p for internal division is given by minus 4 by 5 1 by 5 27 by 5 complete this one is over the same point what he asked he asked for external division again for external division also you know the formula external division is mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n that i represented q q of x comma y comma z is given by m x2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n m y2 minus n y1 divided by m minus n m z2 minus n z1 divided by m minus n external division section formula section formula for what external division is given by mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n my2 minus ny1 divided by m minus n mz2 minus nz1 divided by m minus n i substitute here for external division so that is that implies that is equal to q point m m is what 2 2 into 1 2 into 1 minus 3 into minus 2 divided by 2 minus 3 is how much minus 1 similarly y coordinate 2 into 2 into minus 4 2 into minus 4 minus 3 into 3 into x1 sorry y1 3 divided by 2 minus 3 is what minus 1 i read below mz2 2 into 6 minus 3 into 5 divided by minus 1 divided by minus 1 that implies q is equal to that implies q is equal to huh. calculate it 2 into 1 2 3 into 2 6 minus into minus plus 6 divided by minus 1 minus 8 correct minus 9 divided by minus 1 12 minus 15 divided by minus 1 
how much 8 by minus 1 is minus 8 minus 17 divided by minus 1 is plus 17 minus 3 divided by minus 1 is plus 3 this is what the coordinate of point for which one external division coordinate of point for external division is given by minus 8 minus plus 17 and 3 is it clear okay we solve another problem very important next one given that given that p of 3 2 minus 4 q of 5 4 minus 6 and r of 9 8 minus 10 r of 9 8 minus 10 r collinear r collinear well stop find the find the ratio find the ratio in which find the ratio in which q divides q divides pr q divides q divides q divides pr observe here p q and r r collinear given that observe here problem carefully given that p q and r are collinear it means what these three points lie on the same line that i written here given this is point p this is point q and this is point r correct or collinear means lie on the same line this is k1 p q and r lie on the same line next find the ratio find the ratio in which q divides pr observe carefully q divides pr internally we don't know the ratio okay we don't know the ratio m is to m what is our role to find the value of m and n correct na to find the value of m and n that he asked q divides pr in the ratio pr in the ratio m is to n okay that we have to find out m and n so for that what i do for simply for easy calculation take m is to n for k is to 1 very easy method take m is to n is equal to k is to 1 so we do section formula for internal division if the ratio is positive q divides inside if the ratio is negative q divides outside we will see later okay uh, section formula for internal division p of x comma y comma z is equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by m plus n m z 2 plus n z 1 divided by m plus n section formula for what internal division okay so that is p point here it is q okay okay q point P is the thing but Q. These are all X1, Y1, Z1. This is X2, Y2, Z2. These point X1, Y1, Z1. Okay now. And R point X2, Y2, Z2. This is X comma Y comma Z. So that implies. I substitute all the values. 5, 
4 minus 6 is equal to uh, what I take m is to n is k is to 1 k into k into x2 that's now x2 is what 9 plus 1 into 1 into x1 3 correct 1 into x1 3 divided by k plus 1 k plus 1 similarly m y2 m k into y2 y2 is what 8 plus 1 into 2 divided by k plus 1 similarly for z coordinate z coordinate k into z2 z2 is what minus 10 plus 1 into <coughs> minus 4 divided by k plus 1 correct to find to find the value of k to find the value of k equate either x coordinate or y coordinate or z coordinate choice is yours to find the value of k to find the value of k equate either x coordinate y coordinate or z coordinate whatever it may be so i equate x coordinate x coordinate on lhs is 5 correct now x coordinate on lhs is 5 in rhs 9 into k 9k plus 1 into 3 3 divided by what k plus 1 cross multiplying 5 into k plus 1 9k plus 3 multiply by 5 5k plus 5 is equal to 9k plus 3 i shifted 9k from left side to right side 5k minus 9k is equal to 3 i shifted 5 from left side to right side 3 minus 5 5k minus 9k minus 4k correct is equal to minus 2 minus minus get cancelled k is equal to 2 divided by 4 k is equal to 1 divided by 2 correct k is equal to what 1 divided by 2 this k return as k by 1 k by 1 and k both are same k by 1 is what 1 divided by 2 correct k k is what m 1 is what n that implies m divided by n m divided by n is what 1 by 2 m divided by n is what 1 by 2 what about m and n m and n are the ratio that implies m is to n is equal to 1 is to 2 q divides the point q divides line joining pr correct now q divides line joining pr in the ratio 1 is to 2 that means m is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 very important point observe here the ratio is positive the value of k is positive correct now if the value of k very carefully observe if the value of k is positive ratio is positive if ratio is positive the division is internal division the value of k what we find here if k is positive if k is positive the division is internal division internal division when if k is positive the value of k if k is positive the division is what internal division suppose one more note if k is negative if k is negative the division is external division the division is what external division if 
k is positive if k is positive the division is internal division means this point lies inside of ab if k is negative very important point if k is negative the division is what external division that means the p point the q point lies outside of ab or outside of ba this is very important these two note these two notes are very important okay we solve one more problem next one third problem find the find the ratio find the ratio in which in which the yz plane the yz plane divides divides the line segment divides the line segment line segment formed by joining the points joining the points minus 2 4 seven and 3 minus 5 8 observe the problem observe the problem find the ratio find the ratio in which very important yz plane yz plane divides the line segment joining the two points the line segment joining the two points so what we do take a of x1 y1 z1 minus 2 4 7 1 of x1 y1 z1 is minus 2 4 7 b of x2 y2 z2 3 minus 5 8 3 5 8 so p of what we do let p of x comma y comma z divides divides ab in the ratio k is to 1 okay now in the ratio k is to 1 p of x comma y comma z divides for simply calculation i have taken as k is to 1 because we are finding the ratio p of x comma y comma z divides ab in the ratio k is to 1 so we know we know that we know that section formula we know that section formula for internal division p of x comma y comma z is equal to m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n similarly m z2 plus n z1 divided by m plus n section formula for what internal division okay so that implies p of x comma y comma z is equal to p of x comma y comma z m is what k n is what 1 k into k into x2 x2 is what 3 plus 1 into minus 2 divided by k plus 1 k plus 1 similarly y coordinate k into x2 x2 is what minus 5 plus 1 into 
4 1 into 4 divided by k plus 1 x coordinate is over y coordinate is over similarly z coordinate k into k into 8 plus 1 into 7 1 into 7 divided by k plus 1 k plus 1 we substitute all these values observe the problem find the ratio in which yz plane means p that that means here written that implies p lies on what yz plane the point p what written here the point p what we written here so this point lies on what yz plane we discussed in the first class on yz plane Correct now on yz plane the coordinate of x is what 0 on yz plane the x coordinate the x coordinate is 0 correct now on yz plane x coordinate is 0 on xy plane z coordinate is 0 on xz plane y coordinate is 0 so here given p lies on yz plane since p lies on yz plane x coordinate is 0 that implies p of x comma y comma z becomes 0 comma y comma z Correct now, P of what? X comma Y comma Z becomes 0 comma Y comma Z. Substitute here, that implies. That implies P of X comma Y comma Z becomes 0 comma Y comma Z is equal to so 3k correct minus 2 divided by k plus 1 minus 5k minus 5k plus 4 divided by k plus 1 comma 8k plus 7 divided by k plus 1 k plus 1 here no option because this is also variable this is also variable only the x coordinate is constant yes na only the x coordinate is constant what we do to find the value of k to find the value of k we equate only the x coordinate if we equate y coordinate here also variable here also variable for z coordinate here also variable here also variable so to find the value of k to find the value of k equating on both side by what x coordinate that implies that implies 0 is equal to 3k minus 2 divided by k plus 1 cross multiplying k 0 into k plus 1 is what 0 3k minus 2 minus shift to shift from right side to left side 2 is equal to 3k r or r 3k is equal to 2 k is equal to 2 divided by 3 so that implies k by 1 is equal to 2 by 3 k divided by 1 is equal to 2 by 3 k by 1 means what m divided by k by 1 means that implies m divided by n m divided by n is equal to 2 by 3 hence ratio m is to n is 2 is to 3 m is to n is what 2 is to 3 the ratio of the given problem is the ratio of the given problem is 2 is to 3 one more point we observe here k value k value is positive last problem i discuss if k value is positive that p point lies what inside of the a b correct now if k value is a negative p point lies outside of the a b 
here inside of the ab means this division is what internal division so that means the p divides line joining ab in the ratio 2 is to 3 for internally yes na p divides line joining ab in the ratio 2 is to 3 for what internally yes okay for, we take one more problem Next one, it is very important, using, using suction formula, using suction formula, very important, show that, show that the points show that the points a of 2 minus 3 4 b of minus 1 2 1 and c of 0 1 by 3 2 0 1 by 3 2 are collinear observe here using using suction formula as we discuss in distance formula how to prove collinear in space but he asked he asked using using what suction formula using suction formula show that these three points these three points are collinear these three points are collinear means what we have to show we have to show that these three points a b and c correct now a b and c lie on the same line correct lie on the same line what we do we take take a point a of 2 minus 3 4 is equal to x1 y1 z1 and uh, c point c of uh, okay let's take b point no problem b of minus 1 2 1 x2 y2 z2 okay x2 y2 z2 we write let let p of x comma y comma z divides divides a b p of x comma y comma z divides a b in the ratio k is to 1 first we find the ratio p of x comma y comma z divides a b in the ratio k is to 1 so that implies First we write P of X comma Y comma Z for section formula for internal division. MX2 plus NX1 divided by M plus N. Similarly, MY2 plus NY1 divided by M plus N. MZ2 plus NZ1 divided by M plus N. Okay, substitute all the values. P of x comma y comma z is equal to m. M is what? K. K into x2 minus 1 plus 1 into x1 it is 2 divided by k plus 1. K plus 1. Similarly, k into k into y2. Y2 is what? 2 plus 1 into y1 minus 3 divided by k plus 1. Similar z coordinate k into k into 1 k into 1 plus 
1 into 4 divided by k plus 1 k plus 1 to find the value of k observe here very important so to find to find the value of to find the value of k let p is equal to c equate p is equal to c or else we take any one coordinate no no need to find the value of k c is equal to 0 1 by 3 2 is nothing but p of x comma y comma z okay now so to find the value of k either equate x coordinate or y coordinate or z coordinate so for x coordinate it is 0 for y coordinate it is 1 by 3 and for z coordinate it is 2 so to find the value of k equating equating the x coordinate of c or y coordinate of c or z coordinate of c i equate x coordinate of c p of x comma y comma z is nothing but c of 0 1 by 3 2 so i take x coordinate because 0 is here so that's why 0 is equal to 0 is equal to minus k plus 2 divided by k plus 1 if you want equate y coordinate is also z coordinate is also that implies that implies 0 into k plus 1 is 0 minus k plus 2 minus k is equal to what minus 2 get cancel k by 1 is equal to 2 by 1 so m by n is equal to what 2 by 1 that implies m is to n m is to n is what 2 is to 1 m is to n is what 2 is to 1 means this point p divides a b correct that means that implies p divides a b in the ratio in the ratio 2 is to 1 k is positive correct here what we find k k is positive that's why this division this division is what internal division correct now k is positive that's why this division we call it as what internal division okay our question is to prove that a b and c are collinear correct to prove that a b and c are collinear what we do substitute the value of k in x coordinate y coordinate as well as z coordinate substitute the value of k in what x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate find out p of what x comma y comma z what we do so to prove collinear to prove collinear what we do we substitute the value of k is equal to 2 the value of k is equal to 2 in x coordinate as well as in y coordinate as well as in z coordinate and find out the value of p of x comma y comma z so observe here p of x comma y comma z is equal to k k is what 2 correct na 2 into minus 1 plus 1 into 2 this is what this is to prove collinear firstly we find the ratio next step to prove collinear first we find the ratio correct na then what is the next step we have to prove these three points are these three points are collinear to prove collinear what we do substitute the value of k in x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate divided by 2 plus 1 x coordinate is over y coordinate 2 into 2 
plus 1 into minus 3 divided by what? 2 plus 1. Z coordinate 2 into 1 plus 1 into 4 divided by 2 plus 1. Find out P of x comma y comma z. Find out what P of x comma y comma z. So minus 2 plus 2 divided by 3. Correct? 4 minus 3 divided by 3. 2 plus 4 divided by 3. Calculate it. That is equal to minus 2 plus 2 what? 0. 0 by 3 is what? 0. 4 minus 3, 1, 1 by 3, 2 plus 4, 6, 6 by 3 is how much? 2. Correct? Observe, observe the P point. Carefully observe, observe the P point. That implies P of x comma y comma z is nothing but C coordinate. Observe. C coordinate is what? 0, 1 by 3 and 2. Correct? C coordinate is what? 0, 1 by 3 and 2. So, P of x comma y comma z is nothing but what? C. If this condition satisfies, very important, if P is equal to C, correct? The coordinate of P is equal to C, then what is the conclusion? A, B here, this is what P, Correct na? A, B here. Firstly, we find the ratio. Ratio we already find out. 2 is to 1. Correct? If P is equal to C, I return here. P is equal to what? C. Observe here. A, C, B. A, C, B. Lie on the what? Same line. Correct na? P is equal to C. Instead of P, I return C. Instead of P, I return C. A, C, B, lie on the, lie on the, what? Same line. A, B and C lie on the same line means what? Collinear. If P is equal to C, if P is equal to C, if P is equal to C, then A, B and C are collinear. Then A comma B and C are collinear. This is the method to find or to show that, to show that A, B, C are collinear by section formula, by using section formula. If P is equal to C, then A, B and C are what? Collinear. Understand? This is very, very important problem. So, one more problem. One more. Find the find the coordinates of the points. Find the coordinates of the points which trisect. This is very important. Which trisect the line segment trisect the line segment joining the points joining the points P of 4 to minus 6 and Q of 10 Minus sixteen six. Find the find the coordinates of the points. Very important. Find the coordinates of the point which trisect the line segment joining the point. It means what, sir? Trisect. The word says that this this is line joining two points. This point, okay. This is what P, and this is what Q. 
This is line joining two points PQ. Trisect means this line segment divided into how many parts? Three parts. Trisect. This line segment. This line segment divided into how many parts? Three parts. Here A, B, these two coordinates in space. This two coordinates divides PQ in three parts. What we do here? We have to find out the coordinate of A and the coordinate of B. Correct na? The coordinate of A and the coordinate of B. For that, here observe P point is what? 4, 2, minus 6. Q point 10, minus 16, 6. Equally divided. Trisect means they divided equally in three parts. Let I take PA is equal to 1, AB is equal to 1, BQ is equal to 1. Okay, PA is equal to 1. Trisect means they divide in equal three parts. Equal three parts for simply calculation, for easy calculation, I take 1. PA is equal to 1, AB is equal to 1, BQ is equal to 1. Okay, PA, AB, BQ. So, firstly, we find A point. Observe here in the diagram. A divides PQ. Correct now. A divides line joining. Line joining PQ. Internally. Line joining PQ. Internally in the ratio. Observe here, A divides PQ, line joining PQ, internally in the ratio 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is how much? 2. Correct? A divides line joining PQ, internally in the ratio what? 1 is 2. Okay, using section formula, we know that section formula for internal division, P of x comma y comma z. So, mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n, my2 plus ny1 divided by my1 divided by m plus n. Similarly, z coordinate, I written here, z coordinate m z2 plus n z1 divided by what m plus n section formula for section formula for internal division that implies instead of p written a coordinate a is equal to okay m m is what 1 1 into 1 into x2 x2 is what 10 1 into 10 plus n n is what 2 2 into x1 x1 is what 4 divided by 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 x coordinate is over x coordinate is over similarly y coordinate 1 into y2 minus 16 plus 2 into y1 2 divided by 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 z coordinate 1 into z2 6 plus 2 into minus 6 divided by 1 plus 2 okay now we substitute all the values calculate it that implies 10 into 1 10 4 plus 2 4 into 2 8 divided by 3 minus 16 plus 4 divided by 3 correct 6 6 minus 12 divided by 3 correct 6 6 into 1 6 6 into 2 12 plus into minus minus 12 divided by 3 huh. after calculating that implies 10 plus 8 16 6, sorry 18 18 divided by 3 minus 6 plus 4 minus 12 divided by 3 6 minus 12 minus 6 divided by 3. Correct? So the point A, A is equal to 
18 by 3 is how much? 6. Minus 12 by 3 is how much? Minus 4. Minus 6 by 3 is how much? Minus 2. A coordinate. The point A coordinate is 6, comma, minus 4, comma, minus 2. That implies. A. A is equal to 6 comma minus 4 comma minus 2. 6 comma minus 4 comma minus 2. Correct? Okay. Observe carefully. Very important. Next one. What we do? We find out the coordinate of B. Correct? Na? We find out. Next one. The coordinate of B. Observe here, B divides, B divides PQ internally, internally in the ratio, in the ratio, 1 plus 1 is how much? 2 is 2, 1. Correct? B divides PQ, B divides what? PQ. Internally in the ratio 2 is to 1. This is one method. One more method is there. Observe carefully. A to B is 1. P to Q is 1. A to B is 1. P to Q is 1. That means second method. B lies. Are done here. B lies exactly the midpoint of the midpoint the midpoint of what a q correct first one is b divides p q internally in the ratio what 2 is to 1 second one b b point observe carefully in the diagram b lies because a to b is 1 b to q is 1 b lies exactly b lies exactly the midpoint of a q the midpoint of a q either using first concept or second concept very easy is second concept so using midpoint formula okay now using midpoint formula i find the coordinate of b Midpoint formula. Midpoint formula. Already discussed. Midpoint formula. M of x comma y comma z is equal to what? X1 plus x2 divided by 2. Y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Z1 plus z2 divided by 2. Correct? Midpoint formula. Midpoint formula x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, z1 plus z2 divided by 2. Okay. This point, A point, we treated as what? x1, y1, z1. A point. And q point, q point, q is what? 10 minus 16, 6. We treated as x2 y2 z2 q point 10 minus 16 6 we did as x2 y2 z2 that implies here we calculate b b is equal to okay observe carefully x1 plus x2 6 plus 10 divided by 2 6 plus 10 divided by 2 okay similar by coordinate minus 4 minus 16 divided by 2 minus 2 plus 6 divided by 2 okay so 10 plus 6 is how much 16 divided by 2 16 divided by 2 so minus 20 minus 4 minus 16 is how much minus 20 divided by 2 6 minus 2 is how much 4 divided by 2 okay calculate it 16 by 2 is how much 8 minus 20 is by 2 is how much minus 10 4 by 2 is how much 2 it is very easy since the coordinate of b the coordinate of b is what 8 comma minus 10 comma 2 
8 comma minus 10 comma 2 this is very important problem coordinate of a is 6 comma minus 4 comma minus 2 this i calculate using section formula correct now this one is calculated by using what section formula so b point is what 8 minus 10 2 this one i calculated by using midpoint formula if you want you calculate by using section formula also we got the same result 8 minus 10 2 okay thank you